tonight we're going to tackle a question from a reader. The reader is Jesse Bettner. Does he give his location? Who knows? I can't keep track of these things. But uh, he's 18 years old and he lives on the west coast of Canada. And Jesse wants to talk about relativism. He says, relativism, if you need a quick refresher, is described on Wikipedia's page as, quote, the concept that points of view have no absolute truth or validity. Um, They have only relative, subjective value according to differences in perception and consideration. Jesse gives his opinion. He says, my opinion on relativism is that it is not only something that has no use to society, but also harms it. My points for this, says Jesse, are that if everything is considered relative, then there is no higher morality to strive for. Okay, that's Jesse's question. What do you, I, and Howard the Humongous think about relativism? Jesse's question implies something profoundly important that morality counts, that we should all have a moral compass, that we should all have a sense of good and bad, and that we should all have a strong commitment to it, a commitment to feeling out potential moral quandaries and thinking them through to see what really is good and what's bad. And once we have determined what is good, to aim for it with all our hearts and souls, And once we have determined what's bad, to oppose it, even if there are costs to us. And about that implication, Jesse and I agree. But what about relativism? Are these good and bad values inherent in the very fabric of the universe? If we scrape hard enough, can we find an absolute good and evil? Can we find an absolute moral framework in the cosmos? Well, I've been working to do that, but I've been working with every science that my mind can possibly grasp, and I've still only got my own personal sense of how to interpret the cosmos. Why? Because relativity is right. There are many ways to interpret the cosmos. And within its own framework, each form of interpretation seems valid, as valid as can be. When the Vikings descended on Lindisfarne in Ireland in roughly 780 AD and killed every single human in sight, when for the next 70 to 80 years they descended on village after village after village, when one of them was praised. He was given the nickname of the Impaler. Why? Because he was so good at shish kebabbing babies, living babies, on his spear, as if his spear was a skewer. Do you think the Vikings thought they were doing evil? No, in their own weird way, they thought they were doing good. They thought they were more than upright guys. They thought they were heroes. Uh, They thought they were doing what the very gods themselves wanted them to do. How did they know it? Because they knew the kind of heaven and hell the gods had put together. And in heaven, you got the privilege of getting up every single day, going out into the battlefields, and slicing off heads, arms, and legs. If that's what the gods had determined was the ultimate good, the ultimate delight, it had to be noble, it had to be wondrous, it had to be just. And as for how these guys were elevating their families and making sure that their kids were making a, had all of the privileges available in their society, You bet these guys were doing absolutely the right thing. 
Does that mean that shish kebabing babies on spears is a good thing? That's actually up to you to decide. I think it's monstrous and abominable and will challenge it and oppose it with all my heart and soul. But that's my decision. What's yours?